Oh, am I in the bad angle or? No. That looks pretty. Look at those air bubbles. Crush the garlic first. It's the easiest way to get the skins off. Dice it up as finely as you can. Throw the parsley on. A little pinch of salt. And that should be good enough for the pizza. You want to cut the tomatoes nice and thin. You want to get the freshest basil you can find. I like to cut the stems off. We have mushrooms. Oyster mushrooms. This is the special ricotta, feta, balsamic vinegar, and garlic sauce. Two kinds of cheese. We got uh, buffalo mozzarella and then regular fresh mozzarella. I'm gonna put some black sesame seeds on the crust. The arugula. I made the dough three days ago, so it's been sitting in the fridge. Even though it's a non-stick pad, so put flour down. Air bubbles are a good thing. You don't want to roll your dough out because it'll get rid of those air bubbles. You use your whole arms as much as you can. Don't be afraid. Cornmeal. Put a nice, good coating on that. This is what makes it not stick to the pizza peel. Doesn't have to be a perfect circle. I made this sauce the night before so that it wouldn't be too moist. You don't want too much moisture. It's thick. You don't want too much. Put the water buffalo mozzarella on first. Try to get it up nice and close to the edge of the crust. If you don't, the crust will get huge. It kind of weighs it all down. And then the fresh mozzarella in the middle has less moisture. Put the onions and tomatoes on top instead of underneath. The cheese will melt around it. Get it up nice close to the edge of the crust also. The tomatoes right up at the edge also. The mushrooms. Mushrooms have a lot of moisture. They don't feel like it, but they do. A little bit of the garlic and parsley. Not too much. Basil will shrink quite a bit. Save some for after. You gotta give it a little shake so it doesn't stick to the pad. Basically a salad dressing. It's perfect for arugula. It's basically putting salad on top of the pizza once it's done. That's okay. 
garlic butter will make that better. Sourdough is supposed to be dark anyways. Like when you go to the store and buy it, it's normally. Oh, yeah, that crust will be good. This is my Holland Bosca cheese knife. It's meant for cutting giant wheels of cheese. It just happens to be perfect size for epic pizzas. That should be perfect. Makes it look good, tastes amazing. 